New York City released surveillance video Saturday, January 17, that captures flight 1549, U.S. Airways Airbus A320 out of LaGuardia for Charlotte, that successfully ditched in the Hudson River Thursday, just minutes after its 326 departure. The miraculous landing spared the lives of all 155 aboard. This footage, enhanced by CNN, shows the jet upon impact. Likely flying near 150 miles per hour, impact with the water was violent. The jet touched down at roughly 3.30 local time on one of the coldest days so far this year. Early reports that attributed their information to government officials with the FAA said that the pilot had reported during departure that the aircraft suffered multiple bird strikes shortly after leaving runway 4 at LaGuardia. The impacts may have left the crew with diminishing available power. That information was not immediately confirmed by the NTSB. However, if confirmed, the crew likely first considered a return to LaGuardia. And though Teterboro Airport in New Jersey may also have been visible to the pilots, the turns required to make the runway could have bled the aircraft of speed or altitude necessary to reach it. External factors aside, turning an aircraft while holding altitude requires power. Otherwise, the aircraft will either lose airspeed or lose altitude. To a pilot, the Hudson River, free of housing developments, free of trees and roads, and after a partial turn toward LaGuardia, would clearly have presented an imperfect but inviting alternative. To the benefit of all aboard, the river was free of ice. New York Waterways ferry captains were close at hand. Pilots managed their airspeed and a wings level touchdown. And had any of those factors been different, the aircraft's structure could easily have been compromised, subjecting all aboard to a much more violent impact, possible immersion in the icy water, and a quick hypothermic death. Even prior to any investigation, Captain Chesley B. Sullenberger, a 40-year veteran, safety expert, and experienced glider pilot, along with First Officer Jeffrey Skiles, who has flown for more than 25 years with U.S. Airways, were being credited for their apparent mastery of the task at hand. Fortunately, on this day, heroism was not in short supply. Look closely at the right wing of this image, and you will see an individual walk toward the tip of the wing, then disappear into the water. At the end of the clip, another individual can be seen arriving to help, and possibly saving the first individual from quickly succumbing to the icy water. For many, this flight is a reminder of the dangers inherent in airborne transportation. And for them, we'll note that a government study in 2006 found that the National Airspace System of the United States operates roughly 32,000 scheduled commercial flights each day. For the period of that study, from 2001 to 2006, there had been 50 million successful flights, representing 2.7 billion passengers who had flown on commercial jet aircraft in the United States without an onboard fatality. Regardless of the outcome of the investigation, we can now count the passengers of Flight 1549 as an unlikely part of that group.